screenshot this target so many freaking times and for it to still stop a crossbow close range it's pretty amazing it's pretty amazing and i have to give big shot two thumbs up three if i could on an awesome target hey guys it's mac and i'm back with another amazing video in today's video guys we are going to be talking about the big shot target guys i have shot this thing like literally 5,000 times, okay? 5,000 times or more. This thing has been shot with compound bows. It has been shot with recurve bows, Olympic recurve bows, and it has been shot so many times, and I mean so many times, with this uh, lethal killer, killer instinct lethal 405, okay? 405 feet per second. It has been shot with broadheads with the crossbow at the target hundreds of times. And this is what the target looks like after all this shooting. I have put 5,000 shots into this target. And this target right here has stood up. It has stood the test of time. Now, if you look at all my older videos, you'll see that, you know, like, normally I have what looks to be like a trash heap. It's, it wasn't a trash heap, okay? I don't care what anybody says. It was there. It stopped the arrows. And it did its purpose, okay? I had mattresses, you know, like memory foam mattresses that really stopped the arrows, okay? But nothing beats this big shot target, okay? This big shot target, I am so impressed with. When my friend from California sent it to me, he was like, dude, you're gonna absolutely love this target. And I'm like, ah, I don't know about that. Nothing beats a memory phone mattress when it's like, uh, when there's two of them on top. He's like, nothing beats that, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, like, cause it doesn't damage your arrow. It doesn't, uh, it stops the arrows and it's also a big, area so you know like when i have students coming over and they're shooting you know it stops their arrows and it doesn't go into the field behind me or get lost in these woods behind me okay um so i'm like i really like the double memory foam mattress with the tarps over top and he's like no dude you're gonna love this and uh you know he sent me the big shot target and i have been blown away you know most of the targets that i have bought they last uh, about two weeks about two weeks tops okay and this target right here has lasted a very long time normally what i was doing before i made my own out of the memory foam mattresses what i was doing is that i was um taking bags you know like the old uh, well i was taking archery bags that you bought from the store and i was just filling it with a bunch of old clothes and that lasted actually longer than the target that that i would buy originally uh, and this big shot target for the amount of shooting and what I have shot on it, it has superseded everything. So I had to make this video and give a shout out to the makers of big shot target. And I have to say that, you know, this is an awesome target. And guys, look, I'm not making any money off of this. Okay. I'm just giving you my personal opinion about this target. Okay. I'm going to give you a link. It's just going to be like an Amazon link, but I'm not making any money off of this. So I don't want you to think like this video is promotional or anything. I'm just saying, Hey, this target right here has been pretty good. And that's pretty much what I'm doing. All right, now one thing that I'm gonna show you in today's video is that you see this damaged target, okay? You see how damaged it is? All right, I'm gonna shoot with the Killer Instinct Lethal 405 into the damaged areas, okay? Where all the, um, uh, I don't know what kind of material this is, but this fabric is coming out and it's coming out right through here. So I'm gonna shoot right here and I'm gonna see if it will stop the Killer Instinct Lethal 405. Now, this crossbow right here shoots 405 feet per second. So this is a pretty powerful bow, you know? And if you're using this target just for Asiatic archery and Adri Asiatic archery alone, and you're not using it for like compound bows and like uh, crossbows, it'll probably last you a lot longer than 5,000 shots. It'll probably last you a whole lot longer, okay? Um, this one has lasted me quite a while with shooting things that I shouldn't be shooting on it, like broadheads, okay? So let's go ahead and let's shoot in that area right there. Boom. And look how it stopped the target. I mean, look how the target stopped the bolt, stopped it quite well with all the stuff coming out of the target. Now I'm gonna shoot it right here in this other fragile part and I'm gonna show you how it does. I mean, this target has been quite amazing and I'm very, very impressed with it. Very, very impressed with it. I'm actually more impressed with the target than I am 
the green tarp in the back and I'm going to be doing a video on that so make sure that you subscribe to the channel all right now I have to find my clocker rope real quick <laughs> you know normally you only see me shooting like Asiatic bows but guys I love all archery I love compound bows I love recurves I love everything and yes, I love most my Asiatic bows with my thumb release and Slavic release, but I still love all of archery. It doesn't matter what it is as long as it shoots an arrow. I love arrows. I just think it's so cool. I always have since I was a kid. All right, here we go. This thing will put it in there. All right, here we go. All right, I'm gonna try to get you a closer view. Here we go. Uh, okay, well, I'm going to have to shoot this while I am holding you. Now, I'm going to see this real quick. Boom, boom, boom. Soft spot in the target. Boom. There you go. Oh, that's actually one thing that I want to talk to you about real quick. All right. All right. Now, once the foam starts coming out, obviously you're supposed to fix it, but I was waiting to get to a very high shot number before I did anything with it. Uh, and if you're like me and you just kind of like let it fall out, which is you're not supposed to do, which is going to be like the very next video. So make sure that you're subscribing to the channel. Uh, the arrow will land in all funny different ways. Okay. Now, mostly what I've shot with this target right here has been these 550 grain arrows, okay? Mostly what I have shot have been 550 grain arrows. I know that that isn't like a heavy arrow per se, but it's not a light one either, okay? So it's a pretty good size arrow. When I shoot in, sometimes it'll hit this um, material and the arrow will fall down or it'll kind of stick up or it'll go to the side or it'll go over here and it has nothing to do i mean nothing to do at all with the way that i am shooting the bow it's just that when that material start starts falling out it'll make it look like your shot is going all over the place so before the material starts falling out you do want to repair it and you do want to fix it okay and that's what uh the next video is going to be so please, you know, subscribe to the channel and please like this video. Uh, if you're interested in learning Asiatic archery, thumb release, I teach it on my Patreon. But if you already know how to shoot, but you still want to support the channel, then please hop on over to my Patreon. I would absolutely love your support. And guys, a lot of videos are coming. Uh, work has kind of slowed down for me. So a lot of videos are coming. So make sure that you subscribe to the channel because a lot of tutorials are coming. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Thank you, Big Shot, for making an awesome, you know, target for the archery community. And you guys have a blessed day in Christ. Bye now.